Alright, so here I am again, and I'm going to teach you pretty basic flight control. Um, sort of, it is part of aerodynamics, but it'll help you control part of your flight. This is part one. Alright, so here's a plane. It doesn't fly too far. It's just a normal plane. Um, it's slow, so it's good for one for this. Now, let's just, I'll just show you how it's still. I will be able to see this. Okay, it might have went out of the picture, but it's not the best plane ever. But it, this is, but it's perfect to show command with this. So, basically, you have this plane right here. Okay, so you want it to do a barrel roll, for example. Small spinning. Just you take. Okay, let's say you want it to turn left. Take the right wing and fold the tip, the end, very end, down a bit. Or up a bit. Like this. Oh, you can't really see. Now you go. Like that. And then look at the difference. It got a small crop. It might have been in the way of that camera. It does a small barrel. Okay. Now, let's think. You could even it out. Well, let's do this step first. You can make it do a faster barrel roll by making it by folding it down even more. So now it's easily recognizable that one wing is crazy bigger than the other. All right. So watch this. The whole plane does that roll. Alright. So, now it might, and now, depending on your plane, if you equal it out on the other side, so if you do the same thing on the other side, depending on the type of plane you have, you made, it will, it depends on the type of, it completely actually depends on the type of plane you made. It will, it will it will fly out it will either fly slowly, not fly at all, or fly straight. So now I equal to that. Let's I haven't tried it like this yet, so let's see. One more. So a bit so it's spinning a bit less. And that's because one is still bigger than the other. Alright, now here's another pretty basic command. It's not exactly a command, but this one will basically, if you have a dart, this one's already folded like that, but if you have a dart and you fold this point down, you could usually turn into a glider. Alright, now let's do another thing. Let's say another command is you could be, instead of folding it up, do it opposite fold it down. Now this one's a bit weird because I'm going to do it on once. I'm going to do it on both sides. You should do this one on both. Try this one on both sides. Okay, so it's, on, it's folded. I folded this part down a bit. And let's see how it folds. Make sure that it's not folded down. The whole wing isn't folded down so it won't fly. Okay. Okay? So this one, it didn't really make much of a difference. But now, let's take away one and make the other one bigger. So I'm doing it, wait. Okay, so I took away the one on the side and made this one pretty big. Okay? It's, when you do it down, the air pushes it less hard. Not as hard, because when you do it up, the air, all right. A paper airplane is like this. When you throw it, the air, the design makes the air go over. Okay? When it's up, more of the air hits it. The remaining air that goes under, that hits here, makes it spin slowly. Alright. So let's see another. So now that that's done, let's do a bit tougher. Okay? 
This one might not even work on this plane. It only works on very specific planes. This is real flight control right here. Um, I learned this part from my dad. He could make, basically, by making different rips in the wing, so I'll make a rip, and I'll do that one, this one last, but, alright, so this will be the last one. But making different rips in the wings, you can control how far or what type of turns the plane does. So, it's very, this one very much depends on the plane you have. If you don't have the right plane for it, then it will probably not work. Now this one, I'm going to throw it. I made a little curve right here. On some, it completely stops the plane from moving. On some, it makes it spiral so much and stops, um, it, it, go, it ends earlier. And on some, it works. So let's see. Let's try one more time. This one's in the back, so it might it's gonna it would do a late. Okay, it hit the it turned left the slightest bit. You probably didn't even notice it, but now let's do it one more on the same wing, but in the front, and now it's in the front and in the back. I made a bigger rip in the front. So you can all see this. All right, so let's chill this. It goes up. Depending on the spots you put them, it, de it depends on the spots you put the rips. It will depend where it goes, where the plane goes, and in which direction and how it will turn. It maybe will flip, depending on like a, like a stunt plane. All right, so let's do one more. One more, I'm going to make a huge rip. Now, this one will probably not, not even fly. Because it's basically ripping up the whole way. But here it is. Okay, that's the best example I could give. The best example of this whole video. If you didn't see that, I'm going to throw it one more time. This one goes almost all the way left. Okay, so that's some basic... Aerodynamics for paper airplanes, part one.